Trust your first impression. <coughs> what do you see? A jungle. A jungle. Very good. Tell me about this jungle. There's a waterfall. Mm-hmm. And there's water. It's like clean. Where is this waterfall coming from? I can't tell. It's above somewhere. Mm-hmm. So tell me about the water. It's clean. Mm-hmm. The sun is shining into it. Mm-hmm. And I can see underneath it. What do you see underneath? I see it's I just see the roots of the trees. Mm-hmm. What else do you see in this place? Vines. Mm-hmm. The vines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in this beautiful place, do you feel that you have a physical body? No. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have a physical body, you can move. You can discover what's in this place. I feel like it's in a box. Mm, it's in a box? Tell me about this box. I feel like I'm observing it. Mm-hmm. You're observing it? From the outside. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I feel like it's... I'm not in this void. And I'm looking at this. Mm-hmm. What do you, the observer, feel like? Strained. What is it? Strain? Describe yourself to me. I want to go somewhere else. I want to go somewhere else? What is about this place? I like Black. Mm -hmm. I like the black. Of the void? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to you? Safe. Safe. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself in this void? Yes. Mm -hmm. What feels so safe about it? I know it. You know it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. you feel when you think about this place? It's... I don't know. How does it make you feel? At home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would you call this place home? <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this place have a name that you call it? <sighs> Nar. What is it? Nar. Nar. Mm hmm. What does Nar consist of? Is it a physical place? Or an empty space? What is it? It 
there's some light. Some light. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can see some light. Mm -hmm. What color above is this? Me. Uh huh. What color is this light above you? It's. It's blinking. Hmm. It's rainbows. Mm -hmm. Why do you imagine this light is blinking at you? It's telling me to come home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, allow yourself to go home and let's find out. Who's waiting for you there? Okay. Tell me what it feels like to travel home. I'm scared. You're scared? I'm right there with you. There's nothing to be scared of. Just allow my voice to comfort you as it accompanies you home. There. The light is getting bigger. The light is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Does this light have a color? It's very, it's very bright, rainbowy. Rainbowy, beautiful colors. Yeah, it's all white. It's like I'm in a room now. Mm -hmm. Describe this room for me. It's like round, mm -hmm. and it has. Like couches that are in, like shaped into the roundness. Mm -hmm. Are these couches solid? Yeah, they're s soft. Mm -hmm. but solid. Mm -hmm. And what does this room look like besides these couches? It's like. It's a small room. A small room. There's someone there. Mm hmm In white. In white. Is it a male or female? I can't tell. It's like in a bodysuit. A bodysuit. Mm hmm So allow yourself to relax into this scene and describe to me who this person is. Like I can't turn to see it. It mm -hmm. wants me to look one way. Mm hmm So what will you so use? I'm like looking out the side of my eyes. Mm hmm And I want you to use your knowing because you know what this being looks like. So use your knowing. It looks like an alien. It looks like an alien. What kind of alien? There's many. Got like a green bluish face. Green bluish face. Mm hmm. Yeah. What it's, shape? It's like round. Like a round face? It's like. Yeah, it has like. The bodysuit covers its face, like its head. Mm hmm. And its fingers. How many fingers does, does it have? It has two. Two fingers? Mm -hmm. Big ones. Two big fingers? Tell me more. It has a glass on its helmet. Glass on its helmet? Can you see the face? It's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and ask. This being to remove the helmet so that you can see the face. It's reluctant. Ah. What do you feel when you're with this being? I feel like it wants to. 
it's like it's at the back end of the room. I feel like it's unsure as well. Mm-hmm. Now, when you first came upon this, you felt it was home. Is this your home? This is some kind of pod. What is it? A pod? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To travel. What's the function of this pod? Where does it go? Mm -hmm. It came here to me. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. You'll have to speak louder. It came there to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ask for it? Maybe. Maybe. Very good. So let's find out who this being and what this pod actually does. Where does it take you? It's taking me out into space. It's taking me out into space. Don't whisper, I can't hear you. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. We're flying now. Mm Mm-hmm, we're flying now. How do you feel as you're flying? Mm -hmm. And as you're flying in this, in this pod, do you feel you have a physical body there? I feel like I'm on the outside of the pod. Ah, you're on the outside of the pod. It's really weird. I somehow can't get in. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm following along. Are you supposed to be in that pod? No. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Okay, let's follow that pod. I'm, I'm like hanging on to the pod. Mm-hmm. It's like so, and it's just, but it's okay. It's so beautiful. What are you seeing as you're hanging off of this pod, flying through space? Stars. Stars. Mm-hmm. Planets. Yeah. You must be going very fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's I feel like it's a friendly person. It's a friendly person? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you communicate mind to mind with this person inside the pod? It's saying come on. It's saying come on? Mm-hmm. So just allow yourself to be absorbed by that pod. All you have to do is set the intention and be inside. Be there now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Mm-hmm. It's sitting down. It's sitting down with you. Across from me. Mm-hmm. So now allow yourself to connect with this being mind to mind, soul to soul. It's like we know each other. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's someone I know. You know him? Mm-hmm. Who is he to you? Like family. He's like family. Let's find out who he actually is to you. Like a brother. A brother. Mm -hmm. So what does your brother say to you today? He's happy. Mm -hmm. He's... What do you get from your brother? What are you receiving? Relief. Relief? Why do you feel so relieved? <laughs> you finally found me. Mm. Were you lost? Or was he lost? The 
because you can't find someone unless they're lost. Was he looking for you? Mm-hmm. Let's ask him. Are you looking for him? Yes. Mm-hmm. This is weird. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Have him tell you how he lost you. What happened? That you separated from him. I looked somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I was looking at something else. You were looking at something else? And what happened when you looked at something else? I didn't look at the light. Mm. And it was there. The light was there, but you didn't go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you been lost? A uh, long time. Mm-hmm. I was confused. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's find out how it is that you got lost. We're going to now close the scene and go back in time to where you were living with your brother when you were not lost. And let's find out where you were. Be there now. Very dry. It's like it's like deserty. Like deserty. Mm hmm Speak louder so I don't have to strain to listen to you. Okay. Mm hmm So this is very deserty dry place. Yeah, it's like rifts and it's like it's very not hot, but it's dry. It's mm -hmm. not. It's dry. Not, it's not a lot of plants. Not a lot of plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got like it's like dry land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this where you live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you live in that place. Like these domes. Mm -hmm. You live in domes? Yeah. Tell me more. <sighs> there are more of them. What is it? There are more of them. There are more of them. Are there many? Some. Mm hmm. And windows. Mm -hmm. Are these windows open or do they have something? The domes are windows. Mm -hmm. the domes are the windows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With like a honeycomb shape. Mm -hmm. And you can go inside. So allow yourself to go inside of your dome and tell me what it looks like inside. It's got plants. It's got plants? Yeah. Hmm. Where did you get these plants? We grow them. Hmm. What do these plants make you feel? Happy. Happy? Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you communicate with these plants? Yeah. They're quiet but friendly. They're quiet but friendly plants? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do these plants have personalities? No. No. They're part of me. They're part of you? Yeah. Hmm, tell me about that. How are they a part of you? They're happy. 
happy when I'm happy. Mm -hmm. We love each other. They're so sweet. Mm -hmm. And what do you look like? You have a bodysuit? Yeah. What color is it? White. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? It has like a shimmer. A shimmer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honeycomb shimmer. A honeycomb shimmer. What do you look like as far as your limbs? Skinny. You're skinny. I have limbs. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a woman. You're a woman. Yeah. What does your face look like? Big eyes? Yeah. Mm hmm What color are they? They're black. Black? Yeah. Do you have any nose or a mouth? Yeah. Mm hmm How big are they? Small mouth. Small mouth? Yeah. Small nose. Small nose. Do you have any hair? No. No. Have. The bodysuit covers my head. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to wear that bodysuit? Temperature. The temperature? Yes. It regulates the temperature? Yes. What's the temperature feel like in the it's place? A little chilly. A little chilly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a base. Ah. Do you work in this place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Experiments. What kind of experiments? Testing the or the, la the land mm -hmm. for habitation. Is that why you have plants there? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the experiment regarding these plants? We can live there. Do you need to move from where you are now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's going on on your planet? We lost it. How did you lose your planet? Look like it blew up. It blew up. Yeah. Mm hmm. And how were you able to escape? Pods. Pods. Did you know the planet was going to be blown up? Yes. Mm hmm Tell me more. I think someone... Someone did it. Someone did it? For what reason? There was war. There was a war. Yeah. There are only few of us. So let's find out what it is that you're supposed to be doing now in this lifetime. I'd like for you to close this scene and find out what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Recover something. Recover something. What are you recovering? My family. Mm -hmm. 
How do you go about doing that? Connecting. Mm -hmm. How do you connect? With Earth. What does Earth have to do with connecting with your family? It reminds me. Hmm. The dirt. So the Earth looks like your planet? Yes. Mm hmm. Tell me more. What other similarities are there? Vegetation. Mm hmm. Like the plants that you have inside your domes? Mm -hmm. What else? I see grass and I see dirt and I see it's very moist. It's very... It's, what's the word? Mm hmm. Is it perhaps fertile? Yes. Mm hmm. That's it. So things grow? Yeah. Mm hmm. And this base is very dry. Yes. So what happens next? Where do you go to next after being on this base? Trying to find another place. Mm -hmm. When you're finding it, are you by yourself or are there others with you? By myself. I went to Earth. Mm -hmm. What did you find on Earth? Good Earth. Good dirt. Good dirt? Yes. Mm -hmm. What year is this on Earth? 2000 something? Yeah. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Forty-seven. 2047? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, what do you plan to do on Earth? Live there. Live there? Yeah. Mm hmm. Similar. Oh, my family. So where is your family? <sighs> Somewhere still back at the base. Mm -hmm. So what are you to do now? Living on Earth and having your family back on base. What choice do you make? I want them to come here. It's better. Why is it better? It's more like our habitat. Mm hmm Very good. So let's close this scene and find out what happens. Let's find another significant event in that same lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? I'm blind. I'm blind? Tell me why. No, I'm lying down. Oh, I'm lying. What's happening? I'm underneath the earth. Underneath? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going on there? 
and moved inside. Hmm. What does it look like inside? It's cavernous. Mm -hmm. It's better. Why is it better? Too much going on. Mm -hmm. How do you live underneath the earth? Waterfalls. And vegetation. Mm -hmm. It's very moist. Mm -hmm. How does this vegetation grow? Does it have light underneath? Yeah. Where is this light coming from? <coughs> I don't know. It's like just there. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Is there a daytime and nighttime there? No. Hmm. There's like this light over on the side. Mm hmm. Beaming in. Where do you think that light is coming from? I don't know. Let's find it's, out. Okay. It's coming from outside. Mm hmm. It's very strong, though. Mm hmm. Is this light coming from source? Yes. Mm. Yeah. What happens next? Now that you're inside the earth, what do you do? I'm walking the lands. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. It's very spongy. It's very fertile. Mm hmm. Very fertile? Yes. Mm hmm. What grows there? Food. Mm hmm. And what kind of food do you eat? Plants. Plants. Mm hmm. Yes. And what do you wear underneath the earth? Do you need the same suit again? Take a look and see. Yeah, I'm still wearing it. Mm hmm. So I want you to want to go ahead and use your knowing. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'll tap your forehead and we'll go even deeper into the information that you need to know about this life. One, two, and three. Access that information now. Source. Mm -hmm. Tell me about source. I'm communicating with it. Mm hmm How do you go about doing that? I stand in front of the light and I let it envelope me. Mm hmm And then what happens? It's like Like. like I'm asking it. Mm -hmm. What happens when you ask? I'm, he wants to tell me something. Mm -hmm. Allow Source to tell you something loud and clear so I can hear you. Go forth. And conquer. Go forth and conquer. Prevail. Be 
ini What do you need to be? Magical. Magical. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel when you hear these words from Source? magic let's find out what kind of magic you actually have I have all kinds of powers let's find out what they are I can change things Mm -hmm. how can you change things I can transform them into what To better things, bad things, and better things. Are these physical things or circumstances? Physical Mm -hmm. things. So what kind of physical things do you change into better? Sickness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you transform sickness? open my arms Mm -hmm. and I think it do you think about sickness or health I think about transformation ah the transformation yes Mm -hmm. so is this your magical power do you have many of them move beyond beyond what this place Mm -hmm. where do you go to many places Mm -hmm. how do you do this I fly Mm. my body And I come back and I help turn bad things into good things. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? I see pain. I see bad energy. I go and reshape it. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you shape it into? Is there a certain form? Light. Light. What color do you use? Light. It's spinning. Mm, a spinning light. Yeah, so it becomes alive. Do you give it life? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's stagnant and dead. So when someone is sick? Yes. You spin the light and transform it? Yes. Into live yeah. energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Spirals. What else? Anything else that you do? Funny. Funny. Are you funny? Yeah. So what is what is this being funny? How does that help? It lightens the mood. Ah. So how do you lighten the mood? I'm, I'm funny and smiling. so sad 
Why are these people so sad? They have lost the light. Mm -hmm. How do you lose this light? Fear. Mm -hmm. What does fear do to the light? It dampens it. Mm -hmm. That's why it has to be fun. Mm. So this soul here is funny. Yes. Mm -hmm. They open up mm -hmm. because it's funny. And that way I can help them, allow them. They will allow me to heal them because they like the funny. Mm -hmm. What else? There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Where are all of these that are so funny? These souls? They are stuck mm. in the ground. And they're not free. What has kept them stuck in the ground? They have lost their way, mm -hmm. and they're afraid, and so serious. So they like to laugh, and that laughness opens them up just mm. that little bit mm -hmm. to let the light out. And then I can transform. So are we ready to transform some of these, or all of these, that are stuck in the ground now? Oh. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's find a place where all of these are stuck. Yes. Where would you say would be the most congested area where there's all of these souls are stuck? What do you see? It's like it's like rocks and dirt and they're in the in the dirt. They're mm -hmm. like in the dirt. Alright. They're like only their faces and upper bodies are you know? Mm -hmm. It's like they're deep in the earth. They can't they can't get up. Well I imagine they can. If they got themselves into that situation, they could always get themselves out. Yeah. Mm hmm So why don't we put a call to all of these? Okay. And perhaps we could send them something very funny. What can we send them that would make them feel light? Dancing. Dancing. Very good. This thing gets silly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. How does it make them feel when they see you? Smile. Mm -hmm. And as they smile, what happens to that body that's stuck in it's the ground? Loosening. Mm -hmm. Keep dancing and let's see what happens next. They think they want to dance too. Mm -hmm. So allow them to dance. little children inside. Mm-hmm. They were just afraid, weren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many do you see? Fifty mm -hmm. or so. Yes. So last, let's ask them now, since they've been there for so long, if they're ready to go back home to the light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how are you going to help them? What are you going to show them? Um, washing them off. Mm -hmm. The mud. And now they see their light. 
they're looking down mm -hmm. and they see. Oh my God! What do you see? They say, "Oh my God!" Ah. They're surprised. Mm -hmm. They did not know they were light. And now that they know they're light, yeah. what do they do? They cry happy tears. Mm -hmm. Hug. They weren't able to hug. Mm -hmm. And now they fly. Where are they flying to? They're going back. Mm -hmm. And how does that make you feel knowing? Oh, so nice. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I did my job. Yes. Where else have you done this job before? Let's find out. <sighs> I was a witch. Yes. Tell me. Describe this for me. I was old. Old? Mm hmm. Tell me what you do as a witch. I make potions. Mm hmm. What kind of potions? Healing potions. Mm hmm. And spells. And spells. Yes. You don't seem very happy, though. No. Why are you not happy? I'm not being recognized. I'm not being recognized. What is your name? Mira. Mira. Mira, who is not recognizing you? The people. Mm hmm. What do they say about you? The authorities. Mm -hmm. and they want to stop me. What would happen if you stop? The people would die. Mm -hmm. How are you keeping the people alive, Mira? They are suffering. They are suffering? Yes. Why is it that they're suffering? The people in power. Mm -hmm. They are evil. Mm -hmm. I am fighting. Mm -hmm. How are you fighting them? I am telling people to come here. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to them. I'm so angry. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you, Mira? Take a look at your body. How is that anger affecting it's you? Buzzing. Mm -hmm. What else does it cause you? I am paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Where are you paralyzed? I can't move. Mm -hmm. They think I'm old. But I am powerful. I can still do it. Mm -hmm. If you're so powerful, Mira, why is it that you're paralyzed? What happened to you? It's just my body. Mm -hmm. I can do other things. What do you do? I get help. Who helps you? I get help from beyond. Mm -hmm. Now there's a lot of souls on beyond. Are these souls of the light or the dark? Some are light. Mm -hmm. And some are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Do you work with the dangerous ones? Sometimes. Here? What do you use them for? I want to. 
It's the only way. The only way to what? To fight、mm-hmm. the others. What do you do? I put spells on them.、Mm-hmm. What kind of spells? People who come and ask, and I help them. Uh, But you don't really help them, do you? No. What do you do instead? <sighs> Cause more pain.、Mm-hmm. This is why I'm so paralyzed.、Mm-hmm. It has come back.、Mm-hmm. <sighs> is this karma? Yes.、Mm-hmm. So how is it affecting your、uh, body? Not good. Take a look at your body and see. What you have absorbed in your body?、Uh, yes, it's bad.、Mm-hmm. Describe it for me. It's I can't move, and it's taken over me.、Mm-hmm. They are taking over me. Well, you see, Mira, you have free will.、Uh, they're so powerful. So are you. You said you were powerful yourself, didn't、yes. you? That's right. So why are you giving up on yourself, Mira? Yes.、Mm-hmm. Who are these that are so powerful? Can you see them? They don't want to leave me alone.、Mm. But you can command them, Mira. You can command them. They don't want to let go. Well, you need to tell them to let go. You can command them to let go. It's your body. Go ahead and begin using all of your power,、uh, and begin to cut away those cords that are attaching them、uh, to you. Cut them away, burn them away. Go away.、Uh, they don't want to go. It's not up to them. It's up to you. Look them in the eye and tell、uh, yes, them to go、leave. away. Go away! What do they do? They're going away.、Mm-hmm. Oh yes, go away. And what happens now, Mira? Go. <sighs> What's happening now? They're fighting. Mm-hmm. It seems to me, for the same way that you called darkness, you need to call source now to assist you. Call in source. Source, please help me. Open yourself up now. Tell me what happens. The blessing. Mm-hmm. What's happening, Mira? It's helping. It's helping. <sighs> Keep your focus on the light. Keep your focus on the light. Thank you.、Mm-hmm. Now take a look at your body, Mira, and tell me if anything has happened to your body. With these spells, so powerful. So powerful. Mm-hmm. It's buzzing. It's buzzing. Yes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And now, Mira, tell me what happens next. Let the light in. Very good. Okay.、Mm-hmm. I'm sorry.、Mm-hmm. Mira, how have you been affecting Sophie?
And you made her tired. What was the purpose of making Sophie so tired? I'm paralyzed. Mm -hmm. You were paralyzed. Yes. What about now? I want to get up. Mm -hmm. What happens to you? What happens next? I don't want to get up. Mm -hmm. I want to lie here. And what would happen if you lie there, Sophie? What happens? What happens to your soul? What happens to the soul of Mira? It's letting go. It's letting go. Very good. So I'd like for the archangels now to go ahead and surround Mira, allowing her to let go. Fill her with that light. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. Mira, are you ready to go home now? Okay. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Sophie? Mm -hmm. What have you done to her all this time besides making her tired? What have you done to Sophie? I have paralyzed. You've paralyzed her in what way? I didn't want her to be powerful. Mm hmm. Why did you not want her to be powerful? Because I wanted her. But you were powerful. You just called the wrong helpers. Yes. And now do you understand, Mira, that without those that dark darkness in your life, that you can use the source to yeah. make you powerful? Mm hmm Do you need to be attached to this woman's body anymore? He was so nice. Mm hmm It's going to be even nicer, Mira. Fill yourself with that light of source. Fill it to where you just are bursting in the light. How does that feel? It's nice. Go ahead and begin retrieving from her body all of your influence. Begin pulling all of the essence of your body and soul from hers. Separate yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you've separated yourself and cut all the cords to okay. Sophie's body. And Archangel Michael will be right there waiting for you. What does he tell you? Oh, he's so nice. Mm -hmm. What does he say to you? Welcome. Welcome. Go ahead and take his hand, Mira, and he will take you straight to Source. Can you tell me who welcomes you there? A woman. Mm -hmm. Who is that woman? The mentor. Mm -hmm. What does she tell you? <clears throat> what does she say to you? That I wasn't very good. You weren't very good, but now that you get to source, you'll be able to go to school. You'll be able to meet with you, all your family. You'll be able to bask in the wonderful love of the universe. May the love of the universe and the light always accompany you, Mira. 
sending you with love. Thank you very much. And now that mirror is gone, we're able to connect with that wisdom within her, her higher self. Would you tell me what happened to Sophie's home planet? Mothers wanted it, mm -hmm. but they fought them. Mm -hmm. They were a peaceful people. They didn't want to fight. They didn't want to fight. Mm -hmm. They are not fighters. They are. And they are healers. They're planters and healers? Mm hmm And so what happened to her family? Some of them died. Mm-hmm. And they had to go. That was the only way. Mm-hmm. And she met her brother? Yes. Who else is she seeking? Are there siblings? Mm -hmm. Are those siblings incarnated in this life as Sophie? Yeah. Mm. Show them to her so she could see who her siblings from that planet are. has met them yet. Mm. But they're here now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many does she have? Two. Mm -hmm. What is the reason she came to Earth? You showed her mm. that she came here in a different time. It seems to be in the future of Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why did you show her that timeline? Because that's where she's going. Ah, she's going into the future? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does she go underneath the earth? Because of her work. Mm -hmm. What is her work? She is a planter mm. and healer. So she's helping Gaia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is she going to be bringing more plants to Gaia? Yeah. Mm. And life. And life. Yes. Doesn't Gaia have life already? Uh, but Gaia is already. Mm. Tell me about that. <coughs> What's happening with Gaia that's hurting her? They have what? They have not been nice. They've not been nice to Gaia? Who hasn't been nice? The inhabitants. Mm-hmm. But they can't help it. Why is that? <sighs> they were misled. They were misled. Who misled? Others. The others. From where? to take that planet. Mm -hmm. The same ones that took the planet where she's Possibly. from? Mm -hmm. They are not nice. They are not nice. No. Are they residing on the planet now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They look like the inhabitants. Mm -hmm. But they are they are not. No. So they take on the body of the inhabitants, yes. but they're actually from a different planet? Mm-hmm. Yes. How can you tell the difference? They are not... Oh, they are not nice. 
They're not nice. No. Mm -hmm. They don't care. They don't care. No. Ugh, these people. Oh, I am so sad about it. Mm -hmm. So what can the inhabitants of Gaia do about these not so nice beings? have to fight mm. but they were just like us they don't know how they are peaceful people they don't know so how do these inhabitants of Gaia fight they resist them but they resist them yes mm -hmm. they want to take their Mm -hmm. and have them join them. How is it that these beings take the mind of the inhabitants? They make them believe that they are source. Mm. So they don't listen to Gaia. But Gaia is Are these not-so-nice inhabitants keeping the inhabitants from Gaia? Yes. In what way? What do they do to keep them from Gaia? They take them away from Gaia. Ah, and what, where do they take them to? Oh, they take them from the Earth. They don't see Gaia. Hmm. Are we talking about cities? Yes. So these nice, not too nice people have created cities? Yes. To separate the inhabitants? Yes. From their true source? Mm. And they are suffering. How do they suffer when you separate them from Gaia? <sighs> they want so badly to connect. Mm -hmm. because they're in a city. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have cut them off. So how do those inhabitants that resist these not-so-nice beings, how do they resist them? Oh. What do they need to do? They need to listen. Mm -hmm. Who do they need to listen? Ah, to the inner voice. They shut it off. And they want to listen, but they are not allowed. They want to listen to the inner voice, but they're not allowed? What shuts off that voice? Disturbance? What kind of disturbance? All kinds mm -hmm. of disturbance. Can you give me some examples? They use mind control. Mind control? Yes. In what way? Oh, so many ways. Give me an example. <sighs> they vibrations. Vibrations? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does that do? do they, they put them into a different vibration mm -hmm. so they can connect. Oh, it's so bad. How do they create these vibrations? From the sky. From the sky. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have all kinds of technology. Mm -hmm. They are so smart. Yes. How is it that this technology does not affect them? Because they are on a different vibration. They are on a different vibration? 
Yes, they don't vibrate with Gaia. Mm. So, but they want the people. They want the people? Mm -hmm. What do they want the people for? Because they are the connectors. They're connectors? To Gaia. To Gaia. Tell me more about that. How are they going to be used to connect to Gaia? They want the energy. Mm. Do they want to harness the energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't know how otherwise to live. Mm. They want this planet. But I won't let them. Mm -hmm. I know what they are up to. Who are you? that knows so much about this. Because I know these people. You know these people. Uh, I follow them. How do you know them? I go around. Hmm. So whenever they find somewhere, my job is to resist mm. and say no. And say no. Mm -hmm. You can't take this one either. Mm -hmm. These are good people. Mm-hmm. Now, what is your role in the life of Sophie? Mm. Oh. She's a little one. She's a little one. Yes. Mm-hmm. A child. A child? Yes. Mm-hmm. She has to be what? She has the pure light. She has the pure light. Yes. Mm -hmm. What can she do with this pure light? She's shining it. Mm -hmm. She is so pure. She wants people to see it. She wants people to see She's her light? There to s yes. Mm -hmm. What does it do to them? <sighs> they, they can't help themselves. They want to see the light. And she shines it for yes. them? Mm hmm She's showing them the way. Mm hmm Now, do you work with Sophie only? Yes. Or do you work with others? I work with others. Mm hmm So what role do you play? What can I call you? Are you her oversoul, or are you something else? A mentor. A mentor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she... I work with the... the confederation, if you will. You work with the confederation? Yes. Mm -hmm. We are many. Mm -hmm. That... So, this Federation works to help fight this bad stuff? Yes, mm -hmm. we do. And where do you operate from? Oh, we are at another star. Another star? Yes. You must be very far away. Yes, mm -hmm. we are. How is it that you can, can communicate with this star system? Mm, I'm there. Mm. I'm there and everywhere. I see. They... I go there, I go there. Mm hmm. It's no problem. So, working with Sophie, mm -hmm. she saw herself in that life where she was working in Gaia to plant more things. Yes. How does that have to do with the life she's living now? Why did you show her that life? Because she knows. Mm hmm. What does she know? She knows more. Mm hmm. Why is she not using her knowledge? She has been hurt. 
she has been hurt. In what manner? People. People have hurt her. Mm hmm. Some people, they don't understand. Some people don't understand. What don't they understand? That she is there for them. Ah. Mm hmm. They don't want it. They don't want it. So what about now? So she... She sometimes feels like... She's not doing it right. She sometimes feels like she's not doing it right? What is she supposed to be doing? Leave. Leave? Believe. Believe. Mm -hmm. She has to believe it. Oh, okay. She is going to do it. Mm -hmm. I feel for her. Did she come into this life with a purpose? Yes. What was this purpose? <sighs> strong purpose. Uh huh. What was the strong purpose she came in here for? Oh, she's such a beautiful. We sent her there. Mm hmm. Did she want to come here? Mm. Mm hmm. Why was she needed at this time, Angara? Ah, uh, she's so pure and wise. Mm hmm. She knows the job. She knows it. Mm hmm. She has done it before. Where has so she done she it? She knows it. Where has she done it? Another place. Mm hmm. And she is happy to do it again. Mm hmm. So what? Exactly is the definition of her role here. I mean, what does she do? What's the purpose? <sighs> she has to remember mm -hmm. and then she will know she has had derailment. Mm -hmm. She was derailed and she has to come back. Mm -hmm. So was she derailed in this lifetime? Or a different lifetime? More than one. More than one. Well, she wanted to know <clears throat> what past life traumas or contracts that she needed to forgive or release. Mm. Because if she can't know what's blocking her, mm. how can she move forward? Yes. So what is holding her back? She's so smart. She mm. knew it. Mm-hmm. What's holding her back? She has so many times done this. She's done this so many times mm, with other many planets? lifetimes. Mm hmm <sighs> She... <sighs> Did she succeed in those lifetimes? So, yes. Mm hmm So what are the traumas? What are the blockages from this one? <sighs> Mm hmm But she... This one is really tough. This one's really tough? Yes. Mm hmm Did she know that coming in? Mm -hmm. She forgot because of another lifetime. Ah. Did she confuse the two lives together? Or? Mm -hmm. Something happened. Mm -hmm. And she was derailed mm -hmm. and then she can't remember so well mm -hmm. and she's still pure but it's a life other life so let's find out what's keeping her from remembering that other life okay it seems to be that there is some sort of a block there mm -hmm. did she put that block there or did somebody else mm -hmm. let's find out it's blocked all right. Mm-hmm. Who blocked it? She didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Who did? Someone she loved. Mm-hmm. It was too much. 
So someone she loved in a past life put it there? They didn't want her to die. Mm-hmm. So what did they put so she wouldn't die? They were holding on. They didn't want to let go. So this is the contract that she made yeah. with her? Yeah. Mm hmm They didn't want to let go. I'd like for her to go ahead and face those that wouldn't let her go, and let's go ahead and break that contract. Allow her to go to that moment in time and space, and let's cut the cord. Mm. Oh, it's a mother. Mm. She didn't want to let go. She didn't want to let go. Does that mother show up in a different lifetime for yes. her? Yes. She was dying. She was dying? Sophie. Mm hmm. And the mother didn't want to let go. And the mother didn't want to let go. So does she connect something to her? Attach herself mm. to her. Mm -hmm. She's holding on. To She's her. holding on. She's lying over her. Uh huh. So we need to go She's ahead crying. and face her mother. She's crying. And let's go ahead and tell her mother. We tried. We really tried. But it's not working. She's so tired. The mother. Mm hmm. You go your way with love, and I'll go my way with love. We don't need to be connected this way anymore. And go ahead and cut the cords that connect both of you and allow her to drift away and dissolve. Only leaving the love of her heart. Her so much love. Mm -hmm. But we don't need to be connected in that way anymore. Well, tell me what's happened now. Mm -hmm. So now that her mother has disconnected from her, how will that change now? What she's doing in this lifetime? She won't feel like she has to save. She felt like she had to save her. She felt like she had to save her about about now? No. So how will this impact the life of Sophie? She is peaceful. Peaceful, very good. Very good. What about the ascension? How can she improve on herself to help with this? <laughs> Silly. Mm-hmm. Is she already doing this? Yes. Mm-hmm. How Silly. is she doing it? Just by being there. Mm -hmm. Is this the light that she emits from herself? Mm -hmm. But she's told me that she's felt like she's lost the connection. Yes. What caused her to stop connecting? It's the city. It's the city. Mm -hmm. Well, she wanted to ask. If she should be moving out of that mm. city. She knows it. She knows it. Will she continue to live in New York City? No. Or move <laughs> away? She knows it. So when are they going to be able to finish the house upstate? Mm. Soon. Soon. Mm -hmm. Are there divine beings helping her with this?
Mm-hmm. And how will their living situation look in the future? She's very confused. She doesn't want to just feel settled. She's afraid. Mm-hmm. Where is this fear coming from? Losing her family. Mm. Why would she lose her family? She's afraid they don't want to go with her. And where would they go with her? To the country? Mm hmm. She's lost her family before. Mm hmm. She has to go. Is that part of her mission? What happens when she's on that land? Will that do anything for her powers? Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Well, she knows that she has to be a healer, a communicator of some sort. How can she specifically do this? She will. Lock in. She will lock in. Gaia. All right. By being on that land? Mm. Mm hmm. And this locking in of Gaia, will this be something that she does for a living? Will she be able to do a living, make a living out of this? Or will she be doing her nutrition based business? doesn't matter mm. what she does. Okay. Well, it matters to her. <clears throat> she needs to be able to make some money to be able to live in this dimensional world. People will find her. People will find her. Yes. Mm -hmm. So will she be doing something besides nutrition? Yes. Mm. And will she be working from this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. She will be a beam. She will be a beam. Locked in. Locked in. Will she be able to heal herself fully? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about her schooling? Does she need to continue her schooling? <sighs> it's so pointless. Mm. <sighs> Why is schooling pointless? Because she knows. She already knows this. Yes. But in our 3D world, we need certifications to abide by rules and regulations. Will she need to continue her schooling to get these certifications? Yes. Mm. Can we perhaps request some guides, some angels, hmm. that will guide her and glide her through this schooling so that she finds it fun, she finds it enjoyable and not tedious? Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Because we know that by being happy, just like she was able to release all of those duck and stuck in the dirt by doing her silly dance. Perhaps the angels and the guides can do a little silly dance for her and get her from being stuck into her thoughts about schooling. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. So can we ask those angels to help the sweet soul to teach her the things she needs? Very good. Now, we found that Mira, the witch, was affecting Sophie. Do we find any other entities 
or influences. Do a scan of her body and see. Her legs. Which leg? The right one. The right one. Would you allow me to bring that energy up so we can speak with it? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm going to bring my hand over that leg and bring it up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Are you male or female? Female. How old are you? I'm very young. You're very young. Tell me, how long have you been there with Sophie? Some years. Mm-hmm. Some years? Yes. Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm not very old. Not very old. Did you ever have a physical body? Yes. Mm-hmm. And what happened to it? It got hurt. It got hurt. Were you able to be born? Yes. And what happened after you were born? I got hurt. Mm-hmm. And what happened then? I don't know. What do they call you? Cecilia. Cecilia? Cecilia, what have you been doing to Sophie this whole time? I like to hang out with her. You like to hang out yes. with her? Mm-hmm. And how old was Sophie when you first found her to hang out with? Mm, she was not very old. How old was she? Four. Four. Yes. What was going what was going on in her life that made her vulnerable to you? Open. Mm-hmm. So when you attached to her, Cecilia, what did you make her feel? She felt like she had someone. She felt like she had someone? Yes. Mm-hmm. A companion? Yeah. What else? Have you been doing anything to her health? Maybe. What do you do to her? Something. Something? What do you do? I'm sick. You're sick? What's yes. wrong with you, Celia? What's wrong with you? I don't know. They don't tell me. Mm-hmm. Well, part of, part of your body is sick. Tummy. Your stomach. Yeah. Does your stomach feel bad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you make Sophie's stomach feel yeah. bad? That's not very nice, is no. it? No. <laughs> Would you like your stomach to feel better, Cecilia? Yes. Okay. I'm going to tell you a really fast way to do it. <laughs> Cecilia? Yeah. Although your stomach hurts, your heart doesn't hurt. Go ahead and go ahead and look for that light in your heart. Do you find that light? That's the light of source. The light of God, the creator. Find that light. It's so little. Make it bigger then. Make it really big. Oh wow. Keep making it bigger and tell me how that feels. It feels nice. Mm-hmm. Cecilia, make that light so big it takes over your whole body. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Does your stomach hurt anymore? No. No. Wow. So do you see, Cecilia, all this time, all you had to do is go to your heart. Yeah. And that's the love of God, the love of source. Are you ready to live in that light all the time? Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. but what about Sophie? Let's find out about Sophie. I'm uh, going to count from one to three, and let's speak with Sophie. Okay. One, two, and three. Sophie, Cecilia, 
doesn't want to leave because she is worried about what's happened to you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to let her go now? Yes. All right. So go ahead inside of your stomach, and you'll find all of the cords attaching Cecilia to your stomach. What do those cords look like? They're twirling. They're twirling round. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and cut them. And as you cut them, allow them to dissolve. And now, as you cut those cords, let me speak again to Cecilia. Cecilia, yes. now that all those cords are cut, you can go ahead and retrieve all of that energy from her stomach. Pull it all out. Okay. And I'd like for you to send all of your energy that you had inside her stomach, send it to that beautiful white light. Okay. And now, what would you like to tell Sophie about all of this, that feelings that you've been making her feel all this time? I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's take a deep breath in. Sophie, what would you like to tell Cecilia? Are you ready to let her go? Okay. All right. So... Cecilia, I want you to go ahead through the top of her head right here. Pull all of your energy out of her body, and Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. And tell me what he looks like. He's big. Yeah, huh, he sure is. What does he, what does he tell you? He tells me it's okay. Mm-hmm, he tells you it's okay. Take his hand. Okay. And he's going to send you straight home. Okay. Back to source. And tell me when you get there, if there's anyone there that greets you. Mommy. Mommy's there. Give Mommy a big hug. And Cecilia, may the light and love of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Now I'd like for Archangel Raphael to step forward and go ahead and begin sending that beautiful green energy into her stomach, sealing it like a wonderful ointment. Tell me how that feels as he coats it with green light. Nice, very good. So let's continue to go through her body and let's see if there's anything else attached to her body that is blocking her from being toes. her toes. What's going on in her toes? Something. Something. The left or the right? Right. So I'm going to go up into her toes and let's bring that energy up. 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 You can express yourself oh. now. Are you male or female? Yeah. Male. What is your name, please? Jack. Jack. Jack, what are you doing there? <sighs> I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Jack? Fifties. Fifties. And what happened to your body? I don't know. It's just... How did your body die, Jack? Uh, heart attack. Heart attack. Mm-hmm. What year is this? Seventies. In the 1970s? Mm -hmm. So how did you find Sophie? She was so pure. She was so pure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Were you looking for the light, Jack? Yes. So do you realize that she's not the light you were looking for? Maybe. Mm -hmm. So what symptoms were you giving her from you? You made her leg shorter? Hips. Problems. Hip problems? Mm-hmm. And why is that? Because I was holding on. Mm, you were holding on. Okay. Well, Jack, would you like to finally go to the light that you were supposed to go to? Uh... I know you must be feel hesitant because you've been in this pure soul's 
essence all this time, haven't you? Uh, how old were you? Was she, Jack, when you found her? Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. So she grew up with you, uh. not knowing the difference. Uh. Mm-hmm. Jack, uh. inside of you there's a little white light. Look for it. It's in right by your heart. Tell me when you find that light. Uh. Make it bigger, Jack. Make it bigger and bigger uh. and bigger and bigger. And as you do that, you're going to feel the love. Feel the connection with Source. Feel the connection with the Creator. How does that feel? Better. It makes your heart feel better, doesn't it? This is the light you were looking for, Jack. Mm. What would you like to tell Sophie about what you've been doing all this time to her hanging on? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in now, Sophie. Are you ready to release Jack and send him home to the light? Mm. Can you forgive him for not knowing the difference between your light in the light of the Creator. Mm -hmm. So let's send them off with love. I'd like for you to go inside your body and let's disconnect any of those cords that are holding Jack in. And Jack, I want you to go ahead and begin pulling all of your essence from her body. And tell me when you're done. How does that feel to be released? Nice, very good. Jack, I'd like for you to go th through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael is there. What does he tell you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Very good. Go ahead and accompany Archangel Michael. He's going to take you straight home. And tell me when you get there, Jack. Mm-hmm. Who's there? My wife. Mm-hmm. What does she say to you? She's happy. Happy. It's about time you come home, isn't it? Very good. So now, may the light of the universe and the love of the universe always accompany you, Jack. Thank you so much. And now, Archangel Raphael, let's fill that space with that beautiful green light, healing all of that space that was occupied by Jack. And I'd like to ask the higher self, how does that change the future for, for this soul, this body? Confidence. Hmm? Confidence. Confidence, very good. This is the confidence she was looking for. Mm-hmm. Are there any other entities attached to her? Or do we think we've got them all? I don't see any. Very good. So I'd like for you to tell me what's causing the autoimmune issues that she has. It's a message. What is the message that you're trying to give her? What the body is? Remember. Remember? Mm-hmm. What does she need to remember? The mission. The mission. Mm-hmm. Will this autoimmune issue go away once she understands and lives her message? Yes. Her mission? Very good. What about the skin problems? The same thing? Mm-hmm. Can we begin clearing that up today? If she got the message. If she got the message? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do you think she's gotten the message today? Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Anything else? 
health-wise that's affecting her. We had bad vibrations. Bad vibrations? What's causing the bad vibrations? It's the city. The city. New York? Mm hmm. How can she now purge these vibrations or bounce them back to where she is not affected by, by them? Can we put a shield around her? All right. Would you describe what this shield looks like so she can envision it? It's like a soap bubble. A super bubble? Soap. A soap bubble. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Will that help her? Yes. Mm-hmm. And even if she has a soap bubble, will she be able to connect and communicate with these other dimensional beings soon? She needs to be locked in first. Locked in. Locked into the ground. Okay. So all of this really is all about her being out of the city mm. and locked into Gaia. Mm -hmm. Does she have to does she have to do anything like putting her feet in the ground or anything like that? Yes. Okay. So how does she do that? For example, when it's winter time. How does she lock herself in? Oh. She can't dig a hole in the ice and stick her feet in it. What's the best way? It just has to be in nature. In nature. Okay. So be around the trees, the plants. Yes. Okay. Good. Now she's thinking of herself as being some sort of a mediator mm. between the two worlds. Is this what she's supposed to be doing? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there anything that she needs to let go of in order to do this? She needs to trust herself. Trust herself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is there anything from this lifetime for her, perhaps, that's keeping her from trusting herself? Any traumas or blockages? No. No. Very good. Is there any other message that you would like to give Sophie at this time. Be patient. Anything else? Very good. Do you have any message for anyone else? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ascension. It's here. Ascension is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to find a light. Time to find a light. Mm -hmm. Time to reconnect. Time to find the vibration and reconnect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People know it. <laughs> Anything else? You have to fight it? Yes. Mm hmm In what manner? Reconnect. Reconnect. Yes. Mm hmm With Gaia? Yes. Mm hmm Get out of the city? Yes. Mm hmm Good. Anything else? Very good. Thank you so much for your assistance here today. Five, wide awake now. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back.
<laughs> Your eyes stuck together? Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me switch the selenite for some shungite so we can get you grounded. Yeah, I'm like powered up here. Mm-hmm. You must be vibrating. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. So, do you remember anything? <sighs> yes. Mm-hmm. What do you remember? I remember the whole planet blowing up. The whole planet blowing up. Mm-hmm. Anything else? That weird being. That weird being? Yes. Mm-hmm. That was your brother. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you feel you're on this journey with me? An hour. Mm, Try two hours. Wow. Mm-hmm. How do you? How does your body feel? It's, uh, it's buzzing. Buzzing. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I'm like half paralyzed, half. Mm -hmm. um, it was so charged. Yeah. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. You understand how much power you have? Oh, wow. And you need to connect with Gaia? You may have to go outside and just hug a tree for a while. I know. To discharge like all totally of this. totally like a battery right now. Uh huh. How's the rest of you feel? Do you remember Mira, the witch? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. She was dabbling with some pretty nasty stuff. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. She was affecting you too. Yeah, she was the old lady in mm -hmm. me. Mm hmm. She was making you very tired. Yeah, I felt like such an old lady all the time. Mm hmm. She was kind of hanging on to you too. Yeah. Mm hmm. She was in my entire body. Yeah. How does it feel now? Different. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So is this something that you want to keep private? Or you want to share this? I'm okay. Just sharing it. Mm -hmm. There's not really anything. I will take out any personal parts there. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything that people can... It was just very interesting. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, if it can help anyone. It was, it was, uh, I really liked that mentor. Mm hmm. That was interesting. Mm hmm. He's not a higher self, it's basically a yeah, it was mentor so from a your. Powerful being. Yeah. It was crazy. Now you know you're helped by pretty powerful yeah. beings from, oh the, my gosh. from the other star system. Jesus, they were like insane. Mm -hmm. Did you see more of them or just one? I just felt like there were a lot of them and I felt like that they were so much more powerful than those not good mm -hmm. entities on planet. And it's on like you have to resist. Yeah, but it's like, these guys, they are just way more, like, powerful than, mm -hmm. than these bad ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just like... They're just so it like, gives you hope. Yeah, they're just like vermin, you know, mm -hmm. but for us, they seem... Powerful. Yeah, but for them, it's like, oh, here we go again. It's like... But that's why they're sending in the troops. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's my gosh. That's why all these light workers are here now. Yeah. Because... These light workers are so powerful. Yeah, and my gosh, oh my gosh. Until when they wake up, they'll understand how powerful they are. Yeah. Just like you just understood. Oh my God. You know, I have all this power. Yeah. But I, I just need to get insane. out of the city and connect with the earth. Yeah, and I saw how I got locked in. It was mm -hmm. crazy. It was just like. I, I saw myself like going out there. And then I was like, it was like I was being fit in, like. It was like, like almost there was like that noise mm. being like click clicked in. And what were you being clicked into? The connection ah. between Gaia and the source. Isn't that something? It was just like, and then the, it was just like, ding. It was like, <laughs> that's it. You know, and then it's like, so when you were asking about what is she supposed to do like with mm -hmm. work wise, he's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's like, that's it. It's like, she's, <laughs> You know, you're already doing it. It's like you're doing yeah, it. It doesn't doing matter it. what she's doing by then because then it's, it's, you're clicked, so powerful. It just clicked in yeah. and then you're, now you're linked. 
Yeah. And now... Anything goes. Yeah. You could do anything. It was basically that, yeah. So yeah. he was like, I don't understand this question because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, she yeah. can take the degrees, whatever, but it's like... It's the connection with source that's important. So everybody is really uh, focused on the trivial stuff. Where yes. do I live? Where do I work? Yes. And they're saying, like, it doesn't Even matter. Even I was... Yeah. All you have to do is connect with source. Oh, my and gosh. you got it. you got and whatever you And it's like want. locked in, and then it's just all ding. It's like... <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So how do you feel? <sighs> buzzing. Buzzing. <laughs> I buzz all the time yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to, it takes me a while, sometimes yeah. a few hours to stop buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but, like a conductor. I feel like I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You just feel like, like a whole vibrating yeah. rod almost. Yeah. Yes. So how did it feel? <sighs> it felt... Um, bizarre and mm. uh, exhilarating and mm-hmm. and uh, yeah it was comforting because mm-hmm. like so many answers even though it weren't the answers that I was looking for it kind of like <laughs> answered them anyway yeah. yeah which was weird people, people come with questions and they think they know the answer yeah and it's usually the opposite yeah, yeah. it was like that where I'm like okay that's Totally not what I was supposed to know, but this is yeah. actually better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, where should you live? What should yes. you do? Yeah. You didn't get those answers. No. You just basically said, you're connected. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. all that matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Holy and, moly. And you have been hypnotized quite a few times before. Yes. So how was this different? different. This was different. Okay. It Explain was. to everybody how different it was. Uh, well, um, I felt like this time I went deeper and mm-hmm. I felt like because there were so many visiting, I've never tried having so many different, you know, usually it's just you, right? Mm-hmm. Or you're talking with, yeah. to your younger self or something, uh-huh. which is like, you know, mm-hmm. but this is like, you know, so strange having those people in you, like, you know, or like suddenly this voice came out and yeah. I didn't know where it was coming like, from. Like the witch. Yeah. I mean, suddenly she was just there. Yeah. She popped in. She, she just came. Yes. Yes. I was like, and then I just felt like my face oh, yeah. all contort. And yes. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. She had, she had control of your body. Yeah. Yeah. It was so. So imagine how long she's been controlling oh your body gosh. while you've been feeling so tired. Oh my gosh. It didn't make sense. Like call myself an old lady all the time and it it made total sense how do you feel now (sighs) so much stuff is going on i feel like i'm just trying to metabolize it yeah and process it but it was yeah it was it was great it was I, I'm so glad I got so much out of it. Mm-hmm. It was so worth it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've been waiting for a while for this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, months. Yes. And um, I feel so, so much more um, at peace. That's, hey. You know? That's worth like, a lot, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't feel like that kind of, you know, what uncertainty yes yeah so now you feel a little bit more confident yeah yeah i feel like like that's um, worth a lot yes i feel like you know like huh you know like oh i could do this yeah (laughs) i could do this now yeah exactly wow yeah so right now we're in secaucus new jersey which is pretty much across the river from new york city and where are you coming from i'm coming from brooklyn from brooklyn new york so she's uh you were originally booked from miami yes and uh since I was coming to see Caucus, we moved her up here. So yeah, I do so like nice. to see, I like to see people who are in the area where I'm traveling to. So was it worth it? Yes. Coming oh on? my god, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very Yes, good. very much. I can't wait to revisit the video yeah. and like soak it all up again. Yeah, every time you see the video you're gonna probably see more. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wonderful. So if you would like to uh, have a session with me Go to albawyman.com, go to the out of town page, sign up for the newsletter. And on that newsletter, I send it out maybe once a month and it will give you links as to the cities I'm going to next. Uh, Also for the Miami ones. Right now, I'm only opening sessions a little bit farther in advance. I'm not opening up a whole year in advance anymore. (laughs) Life happens and uh, to keep my sanity, I'm not going to book that far in advance. But... I hope I get to meet you sometime soon, and I enjoy this 
this session quite a bit. It was a long one, but wow, it was good. Yes, it was I mean, good. It was. I feel like so full of good stuff right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> good. Well, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Let me have that hug. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, thank you so, so much. You're welcome.